Good, how are you? Good. Do the pups in the back want treats? They, they might, yeah. <laughs> so we're staying at Jumbo Rocks. Is there some place we need to check in there? You just go straight to your site. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome, have a good day. You too. camping in Joshua Tree National Park. This is our first time here and it is pretty cool. We're, stand, we're staying at Jumbo Rocks Campground. Which is one of several campgrounds in the park. And while we're here, we're going to go on some hikes. And take the dogs along on a couple of the trails. Now it's limited to what trails you can take dogs on. Most of them you can't. You can only go 100 feet from your campsite. But there are. we did notice there was one that did allow dogs to go on. And there are some nice trails right near our campsite that we will take without the dogs. There's also a nice uh, hill or mountain or rock, whatever you want to call it, right behind our campsite. So we'll take the dogs up on those. This is our campsite here at Joshua Tree. And one of the first things you'll notice is it's really not that big. It's right on the edge of the loop, the loop road. We're not on the main uh, road, but the other main road sites are similar to this. And you'll notice the vehicles will pass right along the side of your, v your RV. And, and that could be a problem if you have something with a slide out. This site here, I don't know if you could get in here with a rig with slide outs on the, on the street side of it because it would very much protrude into the road. Now we've noticed some of the other campsites where there are some larger R RVs and they've had to put orange cones out by the slide outs because it, you know, you got to make sure people don't hit your, your RV. Only about 25% of the campsites that we've noticed in the park will accommodate an RV. The rest of them, probably at least half of them here are tent only sites where you've got a spot where you could park your vehicle and then the campground campsite is behind you and that's where you'd set up your tent. Now if you had a camper van or something you could park in those fairly easy or if you had a very small RV something no larger than a vehicle you know that you could park in there and take one of the parking spaces designated for a vehicle and then put your tow vehicle beside it. As you get into a little bit larger RVs, probably something 20 foot to 24 foot, there are a few sites that maybe you could back into, or you could take a site like this, these pull-through sites, and get into one of them. But if you get into 25 to 30 foot and, uh, and up, you're not going to find very many sites here. I would say there's, there's, over, there's about 100 campsites here. I don't know if there's uh, 25 sites like this that we could get into. So if you come here, 
you definitely want to make sure you get reservations. Actually, you can only get into this uh, park if you has res reservations. And you want to make sure that you check the size of the site and make sure that both your tow vehicle and your RV will fit into the site. This site was designated to about 50 feet and as you can see here, if I step over to the side, the truck, the trailer, everything is just fitting in here. It's pretty tight. So that's something you want to keep in mind if you come here. Today we decided to visit the visitor center. It's actually outside of the park and it's always a good thing to do before you head into a national park or any park. Yeah. Okay. We came in through the park. So behind me is a Joshua tree. And it's actually not a tree. It's actually more of a yucca bush. And but it was it was named Joshua Trees by Mormon um, pioneers who came through this area and noticed the way that the uh, branches grew up towards the sky and pointed up towards the sky and they thought that it looked like someone's arms and hands raised to the heavens and so they named it the Joshua Tree. Now the Joshua Tree grows about an inch a year so these are very old growth trees. This tree behind me is well over 20 feet so it's probably well over 100 maybe 150 years old. A Joshua tree like this can grow as high as 40 feet so they can be very very old trees. There are a lot of nifty examples of these trees throughout the park and it's really enjoyable to kind of walk around and look at them. This is probably one of the only places you're going to find a tree like this. We're hiking Skull Rock Trail which is a 1.7 tenths of a mile uh, hike that leads right off of the campground and takes a loop and supposedly there's a rock that looks like a skull in the middle of it. We've kind of seen the area where that is from the road. <clears throat> it's a very easy, so far it's a very easy trail. It's mostly uh, gravelly sand and there's a lot of little uh, um, placards here that you can stop and read. It tells you about the um, plants and such that you're going to encounter on the way. So we will hike along. According to the placard here, um, these rocks were formed 80 million years ago. They are granite formations that were molten rock and they mollified by coming up to the surface and then over the time of erosion and such it created the formations that you uh, see along the trail here. If you look behind us, that is where Skull Rock is located. And you can see the eyes in the outline of the rock. And that's what this trail is famous for. as I catch my breath. This trail wasn't supposed to be that long, in fact, less than a mile, but I'm thinking it's longer than a mile. But I do think we're getting towards the end, which I hope we are, because <laughs> I'm tired.
Every trail marker we see along this path is pointing the other way. Diane's wondering if this trail will ever end. I think we're just not going to find the end. We're going to find the beginning. It's starting to look like we're getting to the end of the trail. Diane was getting excited and she started to take a shortcut. All this trail does is go up and down, up and down. Yep. So are we really getting anywhere? Yeah, up and down. Yeah. Well, our, our hike ended up being 2.2 miles to back to the campground, not back to the camper yet. So there'll be a little bit more once we do that. What'd you but think? We finished. We finished. Well, it was long for me. For you. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Don't make it sound so bad. No. I mean, it was quite enjoyable for a hike. Yeah, it was fun. And a nice day to do it. Right. So, to summarize where we walked, we took the Skull Trail out of the campground, walked over to Skull Rock, and from there we went and took the Face Trail which crosses the road and goes over to Face Rock. Then we backtracked to Discovery Trail, which took us along the other side of the road back to the campground, and that was probably 1.7 miles. So it was a good walk, a very good hike. Yes. Nothing too strenuous, a little bit of up and down here and there. Yeah, but no, no big boulders to climb over. No, nothing, nothing too bad. And the dogs would have loved it if they could have gone. Well, we've come to the end of our stay at Joshua Tree National Park. Yeah, I've really enjoyed this park. I mean, it's our first time really where we've stayed in a national park. And, you know, we had to rough it a little bit, not having full hookups. But it's been enjoyable being right here for all the hiking. Yeah. And also, there is absolutely no cell service out here. <laughs> that, that's the hard part for you. Well, that's, for most people, I guess, it would be the the hardest part, mm. but it's okay for a few days. And we survived, Suffer. and the dogs survived. I know, they really missed their internet. Yeah, sadly in national parks, you're not able to take your dogs on all of the trails. Yeah, they would have really loved the, the trail we went on yesterday with all the climbing. So we are on top of one of the hills right behind our campsite. They miss the hikes. Like I said, there are a couple in the park that you can take your dogs on. Yeah, I think they're all paved. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're by the, the um, visitor center. Yeah. We did a hike yesterday, and usually I would suspect during the week it's definitely not as crowded as it would be on the weekend. Yeah. We took the Skull Trail and then led into the Discovery Trail. Yeah, and we went to Face Rock. And Face Rock, and Skull. we saw Skull Rock, and it, it really is a very impressive area. Yeah, it is. I mean, this is, you know, considered jumble rocks and it's got these big, well, you can see them in the background, these big round boulders that, you know, they're, they look like boulders, but they're actually all kind of connected. So none of them are going to go rolling down the hill and smash your RV or anything. But uh, it's just very, very pretty. It looks like um, bedrock. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we expect to turn around a corner and see Fred and uh, Barney heading off to the Moose Lodge or something. Right, right. Or him working at the rock yard. Yeah, the rock yard. So, yep. It was a nice day. The weather was good. Uh, just clouds one, one day, but the rest of the time has been bright sunshine and mild temperatures. Yeah, so, yeah. We really enjoyed ourselves. The only downside to this park, I would suspect, is it's more geared for tenters. Yeah. Ours being a 28 foot was probably one of the largest travel trailers here so I would bear that in mind if you decide that you want to visit yeah park. there's there's a hundred campsites in this park and I would guess that maybe 20 of them will hold a rig um, close to 30 foot right right so just keep that in mind if you're thinking about coming here and you do have an RV yep. if you have a tent as well I would bring the tent yeah or uh, uh, if you have a, a camper van they would work really nice right, in this park too right because you could get a tent site. 
our next stop is Palm Springs. Yep, which isn't we'll, very far. Nope, not a very it's long drive. Right over there. And we're looking forward to that and seeing what we can discover there. That will be the next video, but until then, we want to make sure that you subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and ring the bell for to get notification of our next weekly video. video. Yep, we post videos on a weekly basis and of our adventures, and we'd love to have you follow along. So, so until next and time. Zephyr behind us. <laughs> right. She's just sitting there, just hanging out. Yep. She's, you know, she's very well trained, so we can let her just kind of wander. Yep. All right. We will see you down the road. See you down the road, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye.